The early 2000s was not a good time for superhero movies. The success of films like Blade, X-Men, and Spider-Man meant a whole bunch of comic book movies were flooding the theaters, a wave we are still riding high on. That said, the genre has evolved a lot in the last 20 years. While now you can expect a comic book movie to have some level of quality, at least the ones DC didn't make, the old days were filled with a bizarre mix of taking the source material both way too seriously and yet somehow not seriously at all. Films like Catwoman, Fantastic Four, and the X-Men sequels exemplified this. And right among them came the 2003 critical and financial failure Daredevil from Mark Steven Johnson. Daredevil exists in an odd place where it's wholly unremarkable. It's not bad enough to be ironic, but it's not good enough to be, well, good. But amongst its mediocrity, I think there may lie a secret meaning. Is Daredevil satanic? And it's at this point I should probably say no, this is not some insane conspiracy bullshit. I don't think the Satanists are running Hollywood. I just think this movie happens to display a couple of the ideas present in the modern day Church of Satan. And I'm not advocating for or against these ideas, I just... It's a lens I want to look at this movie through, and I think I have some solid evidence to back myself up. So bear with me. Anton LaVey's Church of Satan is quite a bit different from the evil, black mass type cults that had previously occupied the realm of devil worship. While LaVey's church pulled its imagery from the occult, that was more a way of establishing themselves as being at odds with Christian values. The Satanists concede is this. If God exists in the way Western religions, particularly Christianity, claim he does, He's doing a bad job and ruling through fear. Thus, it's better to deny God and follow Satan to freedom. I reiterate, not something I am arguing for or against. I should probably add here that, in general, Satanists don't believe in God or the devil, so my assertion might be a little off base. But it is the point of view I am going to argue this movie has. So how does this apply to the film Daredevil? The parallels between Matt Murdock and Satan should be obvious. He's dressed as the devil. What's more, he's often framed in fire, a symbol generally associated with the devil. In fact, the symbolism starts from the very first scene where he literally falls from grace, symbolizing Satan being cast from heaven in the book of Genesis. And he doesn't just fall, he falls off a church where he was clinging to a cross. Plus, he's a lawyer. And it's clear he's meant to be a satanic take on the devil. He's never seen as evil or a tempter. Instead, he punishes the wicked, reminiscent of the popular conceit, how can Satan be evil if he punishes evil? In fact, in one of the most hilariously melodramatic moments in the film, Daredevil scares a child and mopes, I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. This again parallels Satanism's idea that Satan isn't the bad guy. Which brings us to the actual bad guys. Kingpin, an all-powerful overseer who kills innocents and speaks with a booming voice, and Bullseye, a miraculous marksman with a cross ingrained in his forehead sent by the Kingpin to stop the devil. Admittedly, Kingpin is a bit too underdeveloped for me to provide much evidence that he's supposed to be God, but I am certain Bullseye is a Christ figure. Just take a look at his death. This, I think, is the moment that most exemplifies the satanic messaging. Cross Guy extends his arms out to a T-pose with holes in both hands, while someone in a devil suit watches. And this is the good guy, and this is the bad guy. There's another big Christ parallel. In the post credit scene, which I didn't even know existed the first two times I watched this film, we find Bullseye is still alive a cliffhanger that was definitely resolved in this film's many successful sequels. Look at this, the man returns from the grave. And how are God and Jesus depicted? As evil, destructive, ruling through fear, and hateful of the daredevil. And yet largely respected by the people in the community while the daredevil is looked down on as some violent vigilante. 
So does this mean that this film is in fact satanic? No, probably not. There's too many holes. Uh, who would Electra be in this parallel? Uh, what about John Favreau or the fact that Matt is a lawyer? Maybe I'm onto something? Some of this stuff does seem to make more sense through a satanic lens, but I think it's just the trope of religious symbolism in superhero movies running up against a clueless director. But, intentional or not, there's something here, and I think it makes for a much more interesting read on this otherwise unremarkable film. That light? At the end of the tunnel? Guess what? That's not heaven. <laughs>